It's a sweeping romantic story that uh, takes place over 20 years and follows four characters really on their journeys through life and the way that love affects their lives um, for the better and for the worse. And it's complex. I mean, it's been so complex to learn mm. as, a, as a piece. It's been one of the, I mean, yeah, if it's not, not the, hardest, the hardest thing I've ever had to learn. But when you know it, it makes complete sense. Um, mm. It's like a little uh, jewel box. Yeah, yeah. And, and even now, you know, we're in week five of rehearsals and suddenly you go, oh my goodness. And you, you'll hear a theme, won't you, from um, a moment in Act One, in mm. Act Two, and, and you'll go, oh, oh wow, that's the moment that they met and they bring, oh, it's, it's, I mean, that's, that's why he's brilliant at what he does. Andrew's, mm. yeah, it's great. It's some of the best music, I think, Andrew ever wrote, and I think he actually he yeah. agrees with that. It's one of his favorite scores. We've got uh, brand new orchestrations for it. So um, as, as soon as uh, it was put to him, he was, I think he was, as far as I know, very excited about the idea that we were going to be doing it again and revisiting it in a, in a new way, with new eyes and a, new now, ears. In, uh, yeah, new ears yeah. In, in 2023. There have been changes, there have been rewrites, and he's been a part of all of that, obviously, because it's, it's his show. Uh, but we just, we just hope it's, um, we sort of hope he comes in and sees what feels like almost a completely new version of what he wrote. Michael, stop giving me notes. No, uh, <laughs> it's honestly, it's a dream. I mean, it's such an honor. Michael's the most warm-hearted, generous sort of team leader anyone could ask for. It is a little stressful to step into sort of iconic shoes, but no one's ever made me feel like I have to live up to this thing. It's a, it's a totally different envisioning of the piece. And, and really, it's just been an incredible resource to have Michael there. Um, you know, when when an I can go and ask him sort of how how did you find this moment? And yeah. he's always he's he's just yeah, he's just a generous guy and so much fun. I mean, he's like the person you want in rehearsal really with you. He really is. He's so generous. And it's I find it incredibly moving, actually, thinking just sat there thinking, gosh, you you did this role. Well, and now you're doing because it changed his life. You know, did. love it aspects of love did. changed everything for him as well. So for him to come back 30, the show takes place over this period of time but Michael's life has moved on in these in this period of time since he first did it and so it's really come full circle for him and that's just a little meta cherry on top but it's it's yeah. lovely it's beautiful he's beautiful we love you Michael we love you Michael stop giving me <laughs> notes <laughs>it's beautiful there's everything too there's there's so much to love in there and so many intricate characters and they're all very different um, and I think no matter who you are I think you'll find uh, a piece of you up on the stage mm. being represented at some point in your life. <laughs> I think people might not realize um, it, it's sort of a chance for a, a, because of the last time it was really done on the West End was 34 years ago not to age Michael but you know. Um, <laughs> sorry Michael. Uh, sorry Michael. Um, People like my generation, it's it's sort of the only major Andrew Lloyd Webber score that they might not be that familiar with. And I think it's a really exciting chance to see one of his most beautiful scores done. And it, and it's it's quite like sexy, I think, the piece. I mean, it's really about the des desire and the mm. way that that can make you feel alive and also bring you into trouble. And that is exciting and, and that's something that I didn't even particularly realize in the beginning. So I think for sort of, you know, it's a, it's like a great date show. It's a great date show. That's I hate to, really I hate to good. say it, but it is. Michael's helping. Michael's going to give me some notes on how to do interviews. Yeah. See, I would, I would give you notes, mate, uh, uh, but I've been doing that through this entire production, and you just, it doesn't listen to a thing I say. Faster, funnier. Faster, funnier. I mean... Quicker, get know, off stage. Alex <laughs> is the comic relief in this. <laughs> he keep, it's lucky you know all my lines in case... I really do. <laughs> in case something goes wrong. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> this man is fabulous. I'm a lucky guy. You really are lucky. <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Do come and see him. Please do. He wears very little clothing in this as well. Becoming Any less and less. To get your kit off. <laughs>
That's all you know. I should have said that. That's why you should come see Aspects of Love. Come yeah. see Aspects because you'll see Jamie. Ass and Pecs of Love. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> I think that's wholly appropriate. <laughs> this is a family show, and I'm, 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 I'm embarrassed for you. Oh, God. Has, has, that was has... so terrible. Oh, no. Cut that one. Cut that out. Yeah. <laughs>